is Brittany from 4B Farm. I'm back. Um, we have been super busy, so I haven't been able to make a video. We've been, uh, just got back from camping uh, yesterday, and so I have lots of pruning to catch up on, and I wanted to bring y'all along. Okay, so we are, these are our tomato plants. Um, all I have are some pruners. Um, I got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and they're not the best, but they definitely work. And I tend to leave my pruners outside and they get ruined. So that's why I buy the cheap ones. Cause I have to replace them with lots. So I just wanna flip you around and show you what I will be pruning on my tomato plants. Okay, well first I wanna show you that I actually have some tomatoes growing. These are the Hillbilly potato leaf tomatoes. I have never grown these before. Um, and so I'm super excited that they are growing and they're looking really healthy and good. But as you can see, they are growing wild. Um, we did put up some cattle panel on some eight feet or eight foot tall um, T posts. And then we just, um, we, we left the bamboo stakes in there because they were pretty far in there. Um, and then we just are tying this, tying the actual plant to the cattle panel. Um, and then the cattle panel is just connected uh, with those little wires. We have some blueberry cherry tomatoes growing. Like I was saying, they are really bushy, and so I want to get in there and try to prune some um, leaves out so they won't be so crowded because the more crowded they are, the more they are susceptible to um, different diseases because it gets real hot and humid here in Arkansas. Okay, so you can see um, this tomato plant has this one really, one stem that goes all the way down to the ground. So I would like to keep it that one stem, but I did not prune this sucker that grew up that is actually gonna be producing fruit. There's some little flowers coming off. So we have this long limb, and this is kind of at a 45 degree angle because this is the, the stem that I wanna keep. This is the sucker, and then this is the, the stem coming off. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off because this sucker is already so mature. I don't want to go ahead and cut those off so it won't produce any tomatoes. I'm just gonna cut that one off. And so it gives it a little more room to breathe and all the leaves are not touching each other. And I'm gonna go ahead and go around and do this to the rest of the tomato plants. I'm done printing now. I have nice little green fingers. Um, but I did want to, to talk about um, after pruning, I have, I've cut off a lot of uh, stems that also cut off a lot of suckers. And I, it kills me just to throw away the suckers because I know you can propagate them. And so I have tons of <laughs> suckers in water um, just in my windowsill and they are doing so well. Um, and I have tried to plant them. Um, and I just wanted to show you that and kind of the process of how the plant looks because when I first planted it, it looked terrible. Um, it was real limp, it fell over and I just let it go. And after a few days, we've had a lot of clouds. It's been real cloudy the last few days. It's actually starting to rain on me right now. Um, it has um, popped back up and it's starting to come back too. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, remind y'all, if you do plant the suckers after you've put them in water and they have a nice root system and then go to plant them in your garden, that they might look pretty bad the first few days, but they bounce right back and I'll show you um, how mine's looking. Okay, so this is a tomato plant um, that I cut from one of my other tomato plants. So this is a sucker that is growing. I went ahead and cut off the lower limbs because I, I did plant it in ground and I know I need to weed really bad. <laughs> Um, but I, I cut off the lower uh, limbs so none of the leaves will get um, any splashback from the rain. Um, but it is definitely doing way better. It's very sturdy. I planted it at least eight inches deep 
um, into the ground. So when I planted it, the sucker was really small. And so it is growing um, really well. And so that's what it looks like. Okay, this is a sucker I just planted about four days ago and it is looking really sad. Um, this is how the other tomato sucker that I planted looked like also. Um, I just kept cutting off these lower branches so it will help put all the energy back into the main plant and help get really good root systems so it'll grow. One of the main reasons why I do prune my tomatoes is because of uh, diseases and stuff on the, the leaves. When it rains, it, it bounces up and it causes a lot of problems. Um, the second one is for better airflow around uh, the tomato plants because they do get very bushy. Um, and so they get that moisture and then that also creates uh, disease problems. But another reason why I prune is because um, some of the lower branches that are not producing fruit, they're just kind of there. Um, it's taking a lot of energy um, for the plant to grow those lower limbs and they're not producing anything. So I, pre I prefer to cut those off so the plant can really focus on producing fruit um, in those suckers that actually grow the tomatoes. So those are the three reasons why I like to prune our tomato plants. Um, like I said earlier, uh, I've never grown tomatoes before, so this is all first time. I did get um, the brandy wine, I think yellow tomato, and then the hillbilly potato leaf tomato um, from a plant sale from friends. Um, they're also YouTubers, um, but they are very large. They will grow very large tomatoes. And some of the tomatoes that are already growing actually already have like splits in the bottom of them. And so I do not know if that is normal, if that's typical for these tomato types. Um, if you have any advice, I'd love to hear from you because I've, I've just been going ahead and cutting them off because I don't want them to be disease or anything and for it to spread um, because they're, they're so small, I don't think they'll get any bigger and get better. So I just go ahead and cut them off. But if that's wrong, please let me know <laughs> so I can uh, continue to grow them and, and not go ahead and pick them off before they're ready. Okay friends, I know this video is real short on printing my tomatoes, but it's starting to rain on me again. We have a week full of rain. Um, so hopefully I can get back out here sooner. But uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and I'll talk to you soon.